always get the, oh, I love, I love Forensic Files and I love this show. A lot of the reactions are, oh man, that's so cool. Is it like it is on TV? <laughs> and it's really not like it's on TV. As you can see, we have lights here and uh, we actually talk to people yeah. and it's not dark and stuff like that. So this is our this is our firearm reference collection. Travis Spinder and Lynette Lonson are the forensic file scientists of Montana. TV shows may shed false light on what they actually do, but there's no denying their job is unique. We look at evidence from crimes to determine if particular bullets and cartridge cases were fired by a particular gun. So whenever a gun is sent to the lab for testing, one of the first things they do is the fun part: shoot it. Ready? Mm -hmm. For most guns, the water tank will do the trick. So it's about 500 gallons of water. What it does is it's so that we can recover bullets, so that we can use those bullets to compare to the evidence that we received in a the case. They will then use a comparative microscope to determine if the bullet is a match to the gun based off markings left by the rifling inside the barrel. As you can see with these two different pictures lined up here. This is our, yeah, this is our comparison microscope. This is where we would look at the uh, two pieces of fired evidence. We'd put one here, one here. But perhaps the most important part of their job is when they get out of the lab and step into the courtroom. You know, testifying is probably the best part because that's where you get to explain what you, what you do. So you get to educate the jury on what you do and inform them what, what you came up with. And the impact of their testimony isn't taken lightly. I know that what I do has huge well, yeah. consequences. You know, it, it, it can put people in jail, it can ruin lives, but I know that I'm doing it right, and I know that I'm doing it the best I can do. It's not just your typical pistols these examiners come across, like this converted flashlight gun or shampoo silencer. We thought it was a, could make ourselves a sound suppressor out of bad hair day. There are only two examiners employed by the state in all of Montana, a job they know they are lucky to have. People are like, hey, whenever there's a job open, let me know. I'd love to come work up in Montana. It seems like a cool place to live. And sorry, there's only two of us, and both of us are from Montana, so we're not going anywhere. Yeah. So you're going to have to wait till one of us either dies or retires. 